what's going on everybody your newest bum dougie fresh uh we're gonna come out of the gates with this uh first ever uh cooking with fresh um so we're gonna be uh doing something that should be on discount at every store right now and that is corned beef okay i know we're after saint patrick's day but uh all of them should be discounted all over the place because stores over buy that stuff because they do not want to run out so Go to your local store, get yourself a corned beef, and let's do some cooking. All right, this is gonna be everything that you're gonna need to do this. Uh, three to four pound corned beef. Um, I did a little bit over here, uh, but couldn't beat the deal. Uh, it was half of that price. So for eight bucks, it's gonna be great. I went with a point. Uh, me personally, I like points a little bit better because uh, they have a little bit more fat content. Um, if you go with a regular brisket, that's fine too, but, uh, I like to have a little fat in there or whatever. I have a, uh, Wi-Fi, um, a Bluetooth enabled, uh, temp stick, which, uh, I got on Amazon for like 50 bucks. It's, it's great. It charges. Uh, it's perfect for the oven and for smoking. Uh, so I like that. Uh, I got a little Dijon mustard and then uh, of course your paper towels and, uh, a tray. So we're going to go from there. We're going to start getting this thing prepped. Okay. All right. Next step, what we're going to do is because we're going to go low and slow. We're going to look at uh, a six to seven hour cook on this thing. We're going to go uh, straight oven on this one uh, just so everybody can do this at home. Uh, so we've got it out of the package. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and pat this bad boy dry. Okay. And so just in case anybody is not aware, uh, a point. Okay. Uh, a point will, I mean, it's a little sloppy here, but a point will come to a point, okay? It is it is the cut on the brief brisket or whatever, so you'll have your flat over here, and you'll have your point over here. Um, your flat uh, is going to be something that you could trim up and be a little bit more consistent on, but I, again, I like the, the, the fatness on the, on the actual point. So we're going to pat this bad boy dry. Um, we've got our oven preheating at 275, and uh we're gonna go from there um the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna take a little bit of dijon mustard okay uh and so what you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to identify what side is your fattest okay uh and so i've already predetermined and looked uh and if you see got some really nice fat over here so this is going to be my fat side okay so uh, we're gonna move on to the next step. All right, so we've got our oven preheating at 275. Um, we've identified which side is our fat cap that we wanna, uh, or fatter uh, side that we wanna use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of Dijon mustard and I'm going to put it all over. It would have helped if I put it all over. Would have helped if I uh, got everything to the bottom first. All right, so we're going to do that, and we're just going to rub that in, okay? We're going to rub it all over to where it's a nice, thin glaze, nothing uh, nothing too heavy in one particular area. Um, uh, now, normally, what I would do is um, I'd make, I'd take that spice packet that they give you, and I'd throw it in the garbage because I like to do my own things, but we're going to do it easy today, okay? We're gonna do something that absolutely everybody can do. Um, we're gonna showing you, you know, some nice, quick. Um, I don't want to say easy, but you know, stuff stuff that anybody can do. Treat their family to a really nice meal. So, all right. So we got that. We've got our spice packet already open. Okay. And so what we're gonna do is just sprinkle it on our fat side. Okay. I want to try and evenly put it on, not like that, uh, as best as possible. And then the last step that we're going to do is we're just going to kind of, if you get uneven, spread it around a little bit. Spread it around and give her a nice little pat, okay? All right, so we've done that, okay? We're already preheated. So uh, last thing that we're going to do is we're going to take our temp stick and we're going to put it in the fattest part of the point, which I believe is going to be right in this region here, okay? So we're going to put our temp stick in this spot or whatever. Um, I'm going to need two hands for that, so I can't do it on video, but 
um, we'll get to the next point and uh, go from there. All right, we've got everything padded in. We've got the temp stick in uh, to where it's supposed to be. And so what I did was I did a crisscross um, aluminum foil thing because I ran out of my big sheet aluminum foil. So you could always do that. So well, what I'm gonna do is I am going to loosely, loosely uh, wrap up this foil, okay? So I don't want it tight because I want it to, uh, I want it to circulate in there pretty good and everything like that. And um, that's how you're going to get a nice little crust on this thing. So we're going to foil wrap all that and everything like that. And like I said, nothing crazy tight or whatever, but just sealed enough, okay? So we're going to go ahead and slide over to here in our oven. And we'll see you in about six to seven hours. What's going on, everybody? We're back in the bum kitchen. We're about three hours in. The bum kitchen smells fucking amazing. Uh, that That's going to be the hard part um, is you got the kid jumping in the background and there's a little jumpy thing. It's amazing. I can pay attention to him all I want today because this thing is just going to go slow and low. It's going to cook. It's going to come out amazing. The hardest part is you're going to have to smell that deliciousness for about six hours. So we'll check back in in three hours. We'll see how it is when it's done. Cheers, everybody. All right, here we go. Now we get to see the fruits of our labor. Or fruits of just sitting there and doing nothing. All right, just be super careful because it's going to be really hot. We'll do some slicing here in a second. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and give this bad boy a slice. So we got it to 205 degrees. So we're gonna try and slice it. It's gonna be super juicy in the middle. Look at that. Perfect. So let's get ourselves a nice little slice here. We went to a 205 degrees at a low temperature all day long. Look how nice and juicy that slice looks. It's going to be good. See how tender it is. Just falls apart. Cheers, everybody. Enjoy.